Hey, Vinyl Community. Elliot here, Lazy Dogs Records. And I thought, of, I was thinking about a little something, a little thread I might try to start here and see if it picks up. Uh, if you're not careful, you end up buying so many records. Look behind me. This is just some of them. And, uh, you know, there, there are lots of times we want to be completists and have everything an artist did. But you can get carried away. And if you've got too many that you think you've got to have everything they've ever done, boy, you can just get overrun with records. And as somebody said, you're going to have so many records, and I think I do, so many records in your collection that you never get a chance to listen to some of them. So uh, this is what I'm going to call Just Stop Here. Okay? Now that's not to say that you might want other records by these artists uh, and that the other records by this artist, these artists aren't, uh, aren't, aren't very good. That's not to say that at all. It might be true, but it might not. But if you've got a limited budget and you want to go back to some of the classic rock or, you know, uh, other genres by, by artists of the past, and you're you know, buying used records, for instance, or, something, or buying reissues, or whatever. Uh, you, and you, you can't get everything, then you, you need to be a little picky about what you pick up. So just stop here. Okay? You got the idea? All right. So I'm going to try to make this pretty short. One of my favorite bands is the Allman Brothers. Band, and I've got a lot of their records. But really, unless you're just obsessed with the Allman Brothers, you can pick up five records and just stop. Okay? Their first album. Outer Wild South, their second album. The iconic live album at Fillmore East. Combination live and studio. Eat a Peach. And Brothers and Sisters. Just stop here. Just stop here. You, you got everything you need for the Allman Brothers. Just stop here. Okay? All right. Another, one of the great singer-songwriters, Jackson Brown. Saturate Before Using, his debut album, which is really just self-titled, but everybody calls it because it says that up here. Uh, I don't have it. I have For Every, For Every Man, but I can't put my hands on it up there. So the, his next album, For Every Man. And then Late for the Sky, right out. And then another one of those iconic live albums. Running on in. Okay? These four albums just, just stop here. That's just the, the fourth one. Just stop here. And you've got what you need for Jackson Brown. Okay? Unless you listen to all these and you just love it so much, you got to have more. If you get these four four albums, one of which I don't have in front of me, just stop there, okay? Just stop there uh, at running on in. And you got it. You're good to go, okay? Band that didn't sell many records at all in their, uh, in their time, but have become iconic, almost mythical figures. Flying Burrito Brothers. Folks, there were a bunch of different versions of the Flying Burrito Brothers. And there's a bunch of albums by the Flying Burrito Brothers. But if you just pick these two up, just stop here. This is the second one. Gilded Palace of Sin. Burrito Deluxe. Just stop here. That's all. You don't need any more. Okay. That's it. Uh, try to do this in under five minutes. Everybody, remember, be kind to your neighbors. Because we're all neighbors and you can't listen to everything.